Hey, this is a basic opportunity workflow. It controls the cycle, but only a single person is involved in this process other than some automatic emails that might go out. So what I do is I bring up the person that I'm trying to do business with and I can use the green button and say new inquiry. This doesn't have to say new inquiry. It could say new deal, new opportunity, new application, whatever you need it to do. I could also do the same thing from the opportunities tab within this person. This would list all of the opportunities past and present that we've had with this person. I'm just gonna say new inquiry to create a new one. And on this screen, this is where I'm profiling the opportunity for the very first time. Workflow hasn't actually kicked in until I press save. But in this case, I can't press save yet because I haven't entered the mandatory fields that must be answered before I, I continue. So there are other questions that I may choose to answer, but these are the mandatory. That source field, note that this will not I don't need to answer it here because the way we have this system set up, it will inherit the value of source defined at the company level or how did I come to know this company. Still, if I press save, it will not let me progress because there's fields down here at the bottom that I have to answer. Specifically, commissionable, yes or no. Had I picked yes, it would send out automatic emails every time this opportunity progresses to the person that's do for the commission. I will say no in this example. Note that the stage of where I am in the sales cycle and the certainty, it's all locked down, but I do have the opportunity to edit who's responsible for it and the expected value. Save. Oh, save. Okay, so my workflow is now engaged. We're very big on information messages that tell the user where they are in the cycle and what they're meant to do next. The premise of workflow is that we can only move things forward based on defined policies. So management tells us what policies they want enforced and the system will enforce them. Currently, I am at state new inquiry. I can say they're qualified or I can terminate. If I say terminate, Please note that just like before, I can't just say, yeah, I lost it without explaining myself. So I get to capture reason for lost and often there's a selection value for specific reason lost. I am not gonna lose this deal. I'm going to move it forward and say qualified. Things I want you to notice here are that the stage is now moving to qualified. As soon as I press save, the certainty went from 10 to 25 and I have the opportunity to update the forecast to answer my why are they qualified question by putting in something that my manager can see and I'll say save and now you'll notice that the information message has changed but so too has the green opportunities that I have to move forward or paths forward that I have and you might say well what happened I can only terminate this that's because we have conditions on the go forward rule that a proposal or a key document must be uploaded. So I go to the Documents tab and I say add a file or I could have dragged and dropped a file and I'm going to grab something. The system really cares about how it is labeled more than anything else so I'll say proposal save and now when I come back to the summary screen you'll see that I've met the conditions of the deal and I can now say quote submitted, proposal submitted. Have an opportunity to change my value to 9850 and when did I actually submit this on the 16th? You'll notice that the stage is updating and the likelihood of us getting the deal has also progressed. As soon as I press save, it's gonna lock down those values. And now I'm back to the summary screen and you'll notice again that the information message changes telling me when this was submitted. This information can be viewed in a lot of different places. I'll cover dashboards in a separate video, but I like providing an information message at the very top of the screen, so it's just a little clearer where they are in the cycle and what, happens to, what has to happen next. So in this case, I can say sale agreed, or again, terminated. I'll say sale agreed. 
can update my forecast. Notice that I didn't jump to 100 because sale agreed in this situation, it's like a verbal. It's not necessarily a done deal. I'll have to put in when it was agreed and save. But notice that now I need a contract. So basically I submitted a proposal. They said yes. I sent, I'm about to send them a contract now. So I'll go documents. In this particular case or situation, I've got to attach a document called Sage Contract. Different organizations have different documents that they want collected throughout the process. And now my info message has changed and I can say contract submitted. And when, again today, notice that the stage has changed and the likelihood of this getting signed back and returned to me jumps up as well. Still, I need the signed back contract in order to close out this deal. So I could Go back a few steps using the resubmitted. That happens sometimes. Or if this was a straightforward opportunity, again, I could drag or drop or go find that signed back contract. As long as it's labeled properly in the system, save. Then when I come back to the opportunity summary screen, now I can close this out. Sale closed. And now it's at 100%. Sale closed, when did I get this back? Save. In this case, I have to press the closed out rule, but that could have happened automatically. Save. So now I have an opportunity that's gone all the way through the sales cycle. I have a history of when key documents were either sent out or returned. I know what it was worth, if was there a commission paid, and I have all of my key documents right here under the Documents tab of that opportunity.